Hey, everybody. It is Vinny and Craig and no other people. It's B D along with Craig and no other people. Just know they did every single move that has ever been existed in a pro wrestling match before. Dozens of moves that have never been done in a pro wrestling match before. I became more and more convinced that uh, these men were either a completely different species than myself, perhaps even CGI. And think of this also. Phoenix was not in this match. No, probably Pen ar arguably the most spectacular luchador they have. Correct. My favorite thing about Collision, the Eddie Kingston cold open promos. And then we go to Orange Cassidy, and he stands there, and he stands there, and finally mutters, I don't know what this is. <laughs> a perfect ending to the cold open promos. Sky Blue was teasing a heel turn and teasing a heel turn. And then the moment of truth didn't complete the heel turn. No. And I thought it was over. And then she comes out here and does the heel turn. She's been doing the eye makeup where it's black and very smeared and stuff. And she didn't have that this time. It's not that there are no stories in the AW. It's that sometimes the stories just make no sense. And uh, this is this is one of them. You're a main event, and good God almighty what a main event this was. Brian Danielson and Brody King. His eye patch had been torn off of his bad eye. But he is looking around at the crowd with the one eye still shut the whole time. <laughs> He is so goddamn good at his job. Yeah. For him to work this hard and that kind of pace with that kind of injury is astounding. Um, he is the man. This might be the best tournament I've ever witnessed. Was there any point in your life when you wanted to pop Brian in the nose for the way he spoke to you? Which time? Legitimately dozens. Perhaps hundreds. Many of them recorded on air, unavailable for you to listen to right now at the archives at effortofyouonline.com. Big Vinny V here, along with my buddy Sean. Hey! Our buddy Craig. Hello, everybody. Uh, there is no Brian Alvarez tonight. He's, of course, in the Hawaiian Islands with his family. And, of course, no Granny. She has better things to do. So uh, I'm sure <laughs> at least 50% of the people just clicked off and uh, moved mm. on their day. And, and I don't blame you. There was a Christmas show about mm, five, six years ago. I think it went uh, vomiting on the floor in Brian's bathroom and sobbing. Uh, mm. and, and then a long nap. I may have those two reversed. I may have the nap first and then the vomiting and sobbing. Did not start drinking until the night before our 10-year high school reunion. Wow. And I drank a lot for the very first time. <laughs> you basically made up for the past 10 years in that one yeah. night. Yeah. I was probably about 19, and we were at a uh, kegger party out in the woods. And the uh, cops came. And since we were out in the woods, uh, we evaded by running deeper into the woods. Sure. And uh, went to take a leak. But um, I did not see the electric fence. You're been... lying. No, that I was pissing on. and No. Uh, yes. This is much better than my story. <laughs> this is better than anyone's story on any other topic. <laughs> Craig literally so, uh, whizzed on the electric fence. Michael Hayes takes the mic. Pronounces that Buddy Roberts is snowed in in Denver, Colorado. Mm. Cannot make it. So, snowed in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they were more booze than drugs. It's also world class, <laughs> so there's plenty of room for both. Joining me tonight is the respected and esteemed pro wrestling superstar lance storm lance how are you doing tonight i'm doing good Vinny. i don't know how respected and esteemed i am your appearance on the show alone is uh lowering you in the eyes of some of your peers i'm sure <laughs> you're bringing down my star power yeah dude. yeah they get a standing ovation here for the last place match yeah i really enjoyed this i worked jay lethal once on a show in edmonton and absolutely loved it and i can't help but think i would really fucking love working with mark briscoe and then the MJF hour begins. Maxwell Jacob Friedman has been abducted into the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. And then the next thing we see is Wardlow saying it's about good and evil. Here's all the evil, terrible things MJF has done over the years. <laughs> the goons hit the ring. MJF and Joe clean house. And we get a message that reads, Next week, will you accept a challenge for your ROH World Tag Team titles? They're doing a great job here of uh, giving you reason to suspect pretty much everyone. Do you think it's possible? that when we do find out, the majority of people will be happy with the payoff. I, I think they'll be into the revelation, whoever it may it turns out to be, whether it's one of these guys or some new face who's debuted or someone on the roster we haven't seen in a while. Uh, just the, the big reveal will at least get a big reaction. Um, what happens after that? I guess I don't know. I'm not sure these angles ever deliver. 
It was me, Austin, all along. Well, uh, it, it, like it's just traditionally they've been bad. Yeah. The payoffs. The devil feels like it's such this big reveal. Who's this devil? This devil. This devil. This devil. And then it's like, we challenge you to the Ring of Honor tag titles. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> it's like he's the world fucking champion. It's like it's the, you're challenging for the secondary tag belts. Tony Storm comes out on commentary, immediately steals Granny's gimmick, refers to Taz as the human duplex machine. Well, we got now, I don't know, 50 minutes without seeing MJF, so it's time to get him back on TV. Knocks in the door, accosts Prince Nana, confronts Swerve, and they had a great face-to-face, -face, Swerve and MJF did. This is all very long. It was a lot of MJF, but I thought it was very good. And then, just as they're going away, Nana says something about Collision last week, which I watched three times and I have no idea what he said. I thought this match was awesome. They're going a thousand miles an hour. Both guys look great, just super explosive athletes. I thought the match was tremendous. I, I didn't care for it. Oh. I don't get Roddy's gimmick. Like, to me, the comedy's gone too far. The stars of AEW go to watch the new Aquaman movie in their 3D glasses. Then they all review it. You'll never guess, they like the movie. They're all big fans of this movie they were paid to watch. They're doing all this right in front of a sign in the crowd saying that, uh, spoiler, Mo John Moxley is going to bleed. And he never did. He probably saw that sign and said, well, fuck you, buddy. I'm going to not bleed tonight. Jay is one of my uh, favorites walking the earth today. So this was a hell of a finish right out of nowhere. Three-way should uh, be interesting. Will be a three-way to determine the Gold League winner on Dynamite next week. Last week, Fallon had a line in a promo. She said, when I see blonde, I see red. She's I'll only going to feud with blonde girls. It is too bad for her Laurinaitis is not in charge here. When those glasses come off... A flip is switched, and he's focused only on victory. Okay, two things. A flip is switched. Does that mean when he goes to bed at night, and he brushes his teeth, and he puts on his pajamas, maybe does a little reading, he turns off that light, and he grabs his eyeglasses and takes them off. At that point, is he focused only on victory? One of the rules was that each competitor must have a second in their corner. Oh, Jesus. They did a match this year that was allegedly for the Heritage Cup, and the guy pinned Noam Dar, but it was not an official title match because he did not have anyone in his corner. Oh, Jesus Christ. So they've already set the precedent, and now they're just ignoring it because this show cannot help itself but be impossibly dumb at least once every single week. I saw... Social media posts with pictures of Dragunov in the neck collar and all of the fans going, and it was Ridge. And the hatred for Ridge for being an unsafe worker. He injured Big E, and now he's injured Dragunov. I just think it's in bad taste, and I don't like it. We have an Observer Award for most tasteless angle coming up. This is definitely a late uh, a strong late candidate, a dark horse, maybe. I will say there's something kind of funny. Whenever you watch a show, it turns out to be one of the worst ones. You, you, <laughs> you are bad luck. <laughs>